Mr. Varan, thank you for talking with Bloomberg. So, what's your view on the auto markets and the economy right now? Has it changed recently? What I can tell you about our order books today or the traffic in our retail network is very similar to what it was last year. So, if I look at this situation, I say, well, nothing to report. But at the same time, I see a political crisis in Europe, unable to settle the, the Greek issue, which has contaminated the, the financial uh, sector. And we think that it will be difficult that there is no impact on the real economy. So uh, we have to be prepared for uh, uh, slower growth and being able to fund our ambitions, the globalization of the group, the upscaling of the brands, which you can see here on, on, on this show, and we must fund it from uh, the European cash flow. So we have to increase our savings to fund our development. So has it actually changed your forecast, this economic outlook? Uh, today, you know, the economic forecast is a bit like, uh, you know, I don't have a crystal ball. Uh, in July, we said that the European market will be more or less flat, flattish for the year with slightly negative growth. Big difference between the southern of European countries and, and, and Germany. Today, I cannot give new figures. I can only prepare for tougher times. So what, what are some of these tougher times? I mean, are, are you seeing signs for downturn already? Are you taking steps to adjust? I told you, I don't see st uh, the signs in my order book, neither on the traffic on the uh, retail network. But I tell you, because of the uncertainty, we must be on the safe side. So um, we have launched some uh, cost reduction plan and our teams are working on it. So how uh, extensive is this sort of um, the crisis plan, cost reduction plan over the next 12 months? Well, first it's too early to say because we are working on it. Uh, the only thing I can tell you is that compared to 2008, uh, we are in a much better place. Our financial security at the end of June was 11 billion euros in total. Um, we are absolutely decided not to let the inventories go up. So we will act very quickly, swiftly. And I think uh, the teams are also prepared to go for the extra mile on cost reduction. So would a potential Greek default be a game changer for you, you know, sort of start uh, kicking into gear these uh, cost reductions? Uh, we will, uh, anyway, you know, we are uh, preparing for tougher times. And I think for the rest, I can tell you, it's too early to say. I think the, the key message I want to give you is that, yes, we can go for tougher times in, in Europe, and we, PSA, are pretty significantly geared to, towards Europe. But in this situation, we must do everything it takes to preserve a strong global development. We have currently seven plans, new projects outside of Europe. Vuran 3, Shenzhen 1, Shenzhen 2, India, Russia, plus two engine plans. This is one thing. And the other thing is that the new DS line that you see here behind me, which complements in China, what does Peugeot on 508, 508RXH, the new hybrid technology in Peugeot? All this has to be preserved and launched on time. And one more question on electric cars. What's the outlook for those? Do you see um, that uh, market holding up? There is, there is no change on the EV car. I mean, the EV car, we have always been cautious. We have always said 10 years from now, it will be 5% of the market. So it's not 20, it's, it's five. So today we are a big player because we have sold 3,000 cars. We have order books for 5,000. So we don't see any uh, big change compared to our expectations. And we are focusing a lot on the hybrid technology with the launch of the 3008 Hybrid 4 that I would uh, advise you to test. Thanks very much for your time. Okay, Thank you. many thanks.